week here on Orient Neighborhood Television. Varsity soccer coming your way tonight. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, here for Orient Neighborhood Television, bringing you all the soccer action you can handle as the uh, Lake Orient Dragons take on the Lightning from Lapeer. Last time we saw these Dragons in action on Owen TV, uh, it was early in the season. So where are we currently in the year? Dragons sit at seven and six on the season. Their last three games were a win against Groves, four to three. They lost a heartbreaker against the number one team in the state in Clarkston. They lost that one two to one. And then they also had a loss of three to one against Bloomfield Hills. Their last win was back on 9-11 against Avondale and a route six to one. Lapeer comes into this contest sitting at six, three, and four. Four ties on the season. Their last win was against Bay City Central, 11 to nothing in a rout. They average about 2.5 goals a game, and the last three games are two ties and one win, as mentioned, against Bay City Central. Weather's looking pretty good out here. Temperatures are nice in the low 70s, high 60s. Wind is minimal. Uh, overcast, overcast uh, cloudy skies. The crowd here is, as always, loaded in the stands to support these Dragons in action here at Dragon Stadium. I want to thank you all for tuning into this as Owen TV's uh, coverage of fall high school sports at uh, Lake Orion High School continues. Football is on the schedule. Volleyball is coming soon. And again, we're going to try to keep bringing you this soccer action. Try to give you four varsity matches a year um, for this fall season. And we'll be back with kickoff after this short timeout. ONTV encourages you to go back to school and attend our 10-week video production workshop. Classes meet on Monday nights from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and offer instruction on studio production, field production, and nonlinear editing. The cost is $55 per person, and upon completion of the class, you get access to ONTV's facilities and equipment to produce your own program or short film. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org today. All right, about to uh, have our uh, kickoff here. Lapeer Lightning taking on your hometown Lake Orion Dragons, and we're underway here at Dragon Stadium. Again, if you're just joining us, the Dragons sitting at seven and six on the season. Uh, they can fill the net up if they need to. We were looking at some of the uh, scoring over the course of this season for Lake Orion. Four goal game, six goal game, five goal game against West Bloomfield, five to one. So the uh, Dragons can fill it up. One thing we always share with everybody is the uh, the set pieces that the Dragons uh, roll out. They throw some wrinkles in corner kicks and free kicks. So lapeer has got to be on their toes for all of those set pieces because the Dragons cause most of their damage uh, with those opportunities. In net tonight for the Lightning, um, sporting the jersey number one is Caden Ocampo. <laughs> and for Lake Orion, we have Brendan Zayl, the, the sophomore. Oh, go. Go, yes. go, go, get it. Ooh, nice opportunity for Lapeer and an early quality scoring chance. Going to mark that one up. Got past that drag in defense, but it was knocked out across that end line. Free kick coming here for the Dragons. I want to thank all of our viewers for tuning in to all the forts, fall sports coverage we've had on Orion Neighborhood Television. Uh, head on to OrionOnTV.org for our video on demand service. And you can see all of the football games and soccer matches we have this fall. And like mentioned in the open, uh, volleyball is coming online soon as the uh, Lady Dragons volleyball team continues to dominate the competition mm -hmm. in 2023. Come on, Dragons trying to get organized here on offense. Early stages here. Again, great conditions out here. Minimal wind. Great crowd on hand as always. 
Soccer fans from both uh, schools travel well, and Lapeer's just up uh, Lapeer Road here, M24, so it's an easy drive down for the fan base. This is the Dragons trying to shoot that one on frame, and it's easily collected in by Ocampo. Ooh, miss hit on the clear there. Dragons looking to settle this one down. Lapeer is in the white, and Lake Orion is in the all green. Both teams, sport green and white uh, as their colors, so they had to bring that one out. So Lake Orion is in green, and they are on the offensive attack. Chip on left foot, and hit the, hit Ocampo directly in the numbers, and luckily he knocked it down, and no harm, no foul there on that scoring chance. <laughs> we'll call that a quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. Yeah. And the first foul of the game called beyond Lake Orion, so the Pier will have a free kick coming up. Number 21, Lucas McLaren, the junior, looks like he has the honors here on the free kick. And Lapeer comes into this one 6-3-4 uh, and four on the season. A whole lot of ties. And on the free kick, raises his arm, ready to go. Chip on, nicely done, right in the box. Still alive, headed out by Lake Warriors. Defense and a shot on net, and just wide right. Nice opportunity for Lapeer. Nice uh, free kick there by number 21, McLaren, to lob that one right in the box. Dragon defense was there, but anytime you have to uh, head it out on the defense, the defense has to head it out, you're at risk. You got to hit it square <laughs> and accurately, or you could run into trouble. Little we'll kick coming near side. Still in play or out of play. Throw in for Lapeer, moving quickly. Battle there, number nine. That is Will Jekyll. Saying his name right. Lapeer gets it back, and they're trying to get settled on offense. And a foul on Lapeer. I think they're calling it a number 19. That is Bolte. Free kick for Lake Orion. Time continues to roll here. Nothing, uh, nothing here. No score early on in this first half of play. Nice, nice long free kick. We've seen that to their advantage. The Dragons like to use those set pieces, as I mentioned, and they have uh, a great uh, dead ball striker. Dragons looking to feed it there on the near side. Ooh, finding the middleman. Oh, just out of reach. Looking for the trailer. Almost had it, but they reset it again. Nice lob into that far post. Oh, just off the post. Still alive. Save and kicked away. Nicely done by Ocampo to keep that score sheet clean. Quality chances for Lake Orion early. Throw in coming after that onslaught. Will Farmer with the throw in from the side. I Archer trying to get it in, but headed out by the Lightning defense. Dragons chase that one down. That's Matt to follow. Another foul called on Lake Orion. Free kick coming here for Lapeer. Dragon put that offensive uh, attack on display just a moment ago. Rebounds to reset up that to set up that second scoring chance. Campo is going to want to uh, cover those up if possible. Don't let those rebounds pop out in the uh, in the box area, or uh, the Dragons will make you pay. What they say, uh, the goalie's best friend is his post. <laughs> we saw that in action just a moment ago. Up here, moving quickly, so keep it in play. Lobs it in and chased down by Zale. Nice rush by Lapeer. They move quickly. They don't let, want that uh, Dragon defense to get settled in. And Zale sends this one down range, intercepted by the Lightning. 
Peer dispossessed of the ball by the Dragons. Nicely done. Chip on by number nine. Moving it up. That's Jekyll. 14 tip on to 11. That is Vargas. Vargas trying to do something down low. Right foots it over. Center. Oh, just over the crossbar. Number nine had a go. Will. Chico. Man, what a send there. Dragons really pouring on, really attacking the center of that Lapeer defense. The trailer coming down in the middle and just missed it. That, I know number nine wants that one back. That was a meatball. Just sitting there waiting to get eaten. <laughs> Couldn't finish. Offensive pressure by the Dragons is impressive in the early going of this one, but also is by Lapeer. Two quality score, scoring chances for the Lightning. Four for Lake Orion. Keep playing the balls, White. Yeah. Slide tackle there, no call. Play continues. Number 10 on the uh, run is Niji. And out of play. This should be a throw in for Lapeer deep in the Dragon end. Raymond uh, Miji Jr. on the uh, heads up play there. Throw in coming by number 11, Nolan Lang. See how far he can get this one in. Nice throw in. Chip on over in the corner again to no one home. Should be dragging throw in. Little miscommunication by the Lightning there. Lightning's coach is Chad Kenny. Assistant coach is Ray Miji, Miji and Brad DeLang. Another chip on and headed out nicely by the Dragon defense. Miji, number 10, battling one-on-one -on -one in the corner there. Should be Lapeer throwing. They're gonna call it goal kick. That was a close one. Goal kick for Lake Orion. 30-22 left in this first half of play. Some back end-to-end uh, -end action here so far. Nice offensive chances by both teams. Exciting game. Again, attacking that middle. There you go, give and go. 14 on the side there, left foot trying to find the open man in the middle. Nice setup by Belina Loza. Can't close out and scooped up by Ocampo. Dragons doing, uh, keeping their their shape nicely and finding the open man and making the quick decisions to get those uh, to test that uh, lightning uh, goalkeeper today. Inside 30 minutes left in the first half. Trying to get things going. Oh, nice steal there by number 14. Hibbler sending it down range, trying to split the defenders. Almost had it, just a step shy. And they're going to say out of play. Quick throw in here for Lapeer. Better by Lake Orion right to the Lapeer offensive player, but out of play. Need to settle those down. Had great positioning in that Dragon uh, defensive end. Dragon defense trying to set up uh, this out. Matt Trafolo, number 15 there watching on as Ely's trying to get something going here on offense. Finstrom, number seven. Passes it up, streaks up that right side, trying to get open. Coming near side to number nine again. Jeekly there, call his name number nine a number of times tonight. <laughs> Junior having a game so far. Negri puts it in position, trying to find the open man, does, chip on, slides it in, score Lake Orion. Trying to see the number there, is that 14? Here's a replay, yes it. Number 11, Vargas. What a nice setup by everybody involved. Dragons up one nothing at 8-28-19. 
same uh, strategy, just get it in there, find the open man, and they did, and were able to tap it home nicely. I thought they were gonna have a rocket shot, didn't go, didn't go that route, just had to tap it in, and Vargas tallies the goal for Lake Orion. Always good to get on the board early. See how the Dragons respond. Unforced error by Lake Orion out of play. Throw in coming by the Lightning. A lot of green jerseys around that throw in. Trying to turn on it, goes out of play. Throw in coming for Lapeer. Nice long throw in. Looking for support is Lapeer. Smart move to get the offensive reset. Turning on is number 19, Balti. Dragons send it out. Trying to drop that in just outside the 18. Number 10 with it, Miji. Dribbles it in, still alive. A lot of dribbling, chip on left foot. Oh, nearly open. Nearly got through to his teammate. Trying to tap pass to himself is number 11. It's Lang for Lapeer. Dragon defense was there. Still alive in that far side. Slide tackle doesn't do anything by the Dragons. Lapeer with numbers. Finding the open man. Nice spacing by Lapeer. Just trying to get a solid shot on goal, but again, smart defense by Lake Warren to clear that one out. Finds the open man. Finstrom turns on it, number seven, comes near side. Jekyll, number nine, goes opposite field. Switches the field, still finding the open men here. Dragons doing a nice job. Oh, tip on just behind. Finstrom tried to find the open man, streaking left to the goal, but it was just a bit behind him. Dragons still with possession here at 26-14, looking to add to the one nothing lead. On the goal by Vargas at 28-19. Dragons resetting the office, looking for support. Oh, tough pass intercepted by number seven, and they're on the move. That's Basie. Cutting around, he's got left foot, and he's got a lane, steps over, decides not to take the shot. Who's that, number 10 again? Miji, he's been calling his number all night long. Looks like the main scoring option for Lapeer. Another step over man, left foot, and easily gathered in by Zia. Keep shooting, White, keep shooting. I think if uh, number 10 for Lapeer on that first move on the inside, he is central, like in the central, that center of that Dragon defense, he had an open lane to shoot it upper left 90, but chose to continue to dribble. I think Coach Kenny would like him to just fire it on, make the, the Dragon goalie make the play. Sometimes overthinking it uh, leads to turnovers or a more difficult opportunity. Throw in by Lapeer here at 24.52. I want to encourage all of our viewers to come out to a game, check it out, cheer on these student athletes in person. Concession stand is open variety of uh, tasty items can be yours for a small price and all the uh, funds from the uh, sale of all those items go directly to the Dragon Marching Band. Good, Carter. Dragon Marching Band, one of the best in the state of Michigan over the last decade. Always looking for opportunities to support the band. Come out, buy a hot dog and a drink and you can help the band with their uh, travel expenses. All right, foul called on Lapeer. Dragons setting up for the free kick. They move quickly. Lapeer's got their back, <coughs> excuse me, back turned to them. Tried to move quickly, but recover nicely. Got a near side down that near side touch line, and Dragons were there. Vargas sends it up. Jekyll. It's inside, going right foot. Nice defense by Lapeer. Still alive. Oh, nice fake out. Tapping inside is Finstrom coming back outside to Jekyll. Can't hit it in. 
Mm, nice two-man action there with uh, Drew Finstrom, the senior. And Will, uh, hoping to say Jeekly, the junior. Dragons really putting that pressure on that Lapeer defense. They've been doing so since the start of this contest. Throw in coming for Lake Orion, number 27. That is Broden to Zarek. Out of play, throw in by Lapeer deep in the dragon end. Caution time for Lake Orion. McLaren, number two, dishes it off to Meiji. Nice challenger by the Dragon defense, and they send it down range, going to that right side. Header up, moving quickly down the field. Finstrom just a step off, and that will be an easy call. Might be a yellow card. We'll see what happens here. Guys collided, and uh, Lapeer player is down. And. Calling for uh, the trainer to come out, just take a peek at him. So far he looks okay, he'll have to, let's see if he goes off and they'll get a replacement. No yellow card, good sportsmanship by uh, both players there, just kind of taps him on the hip, saying I'm okay, no harm, no foul, it's all part of the game. Clock stops at 22-25. Just joining us, Dragons got on the board at 28-19 by Bargus. Dragons offense has been on fire so far in this first half. Five quality scoring chances. No corner kicks earned yet by either squad. Three uh, quality scoring chances for Lapeer. Dragons come into this contest sitting at seven and six on the season while Lapeer is at six, three, and four. I think their common opponent was Oxford. Dragons lost a uh, early uh, Decision to Oxford yeah. in the Petoskey tournament back in a tournament back in August 18th, two to one, and I do believe uh, Lapeer lost to them as well early in the season. I believe that was a three to one decision. Pretty evenly matched teams here. Dragons offense looks very good though, and they lead one to nothing. Lapeer sends that one out on the defensive strike. Throw in coming for Lake Orion. Farmer with the honors on the far side. Nice throw in. Finstrom tried a wheel and deal on that one, no good. Good step in. Crowd calling for a handball on the Lapeer side. Play continues. Eagle, number nine with the footwork. Chip on by number eight, that's Negri. Come on, White. Come on, White. 13 for Lake Orion, that's Heitenen. Trying to do something over there as Farmer looks on. Trying to do something too, slide tackle, tapped out off of Lapeer. I didn't know that. Again, beautiful night for soccer out here. The lights are on as the 7 p.m. kick is underway. Cool. 20 minutes, well, we're about 20, just inside 21 minutes left in this first half of play. Sun is slowly setting to the west out here and you can see the shadows on the artificial turf here that the artificial lights are on and blazing away. Substitution for Lake Orion. Actually, I just animated an album cover. Number 22, Jack Verlinden. Lake Orion makes three subs. Four subs for Linden, Wilson, Silva, and I can't remember the third one. <laughs> That's a wholesale change by uh, Coach Corteg there. Uh, the luxury of having the ability to change a whole line Pretty impressive. Still left the uh, defensive players in there, it looks like. Nice uh, speed up that far side. Can he keep it in? He does. Still alive. Dragons have it. Good defense by Lapeer. Intercepted by Lake Orion, coming near side. And unable to chase that one down. A little too much mustard on that pass. Throw in coming by number 11, Lang. 
Lapierre has not made any substitutions just yet, sticking with her starting uh, lineup. What are they calling here? Foul on Lake Orion. Too much hand uh, checking there, I guess. Looked like they were hip to hip. Both guys were uh, pretty even with the ball, but who am I? I'm just a guy with a microphone in the booth. Approaching 19 minutes left in the first half. Dragons up 1-0 on the goal by Vargas. Free kick coming here for Lapeer. Cleared out by Lapeer. Looking at some of the losses Lake Orion has had. 2-1 against Clarkston, the number one team in the state of Michigan. Played them tough. Bloomfield Hills 3-1 three to, three to one away. Uh, what was the other? 2-1 to one against Royal Oak. Lost that one at home. Lapeer gets that one in deep. Nearly gets a shot. Dragons on the offensive rush now. Another loss was against Utica, 3-1. to one. That was at home. And against Oxford, back on, we mentioned earlier, on August 18th. So quality teams, no blowouts. Every game's been competitive. Dragons with the throw in here. Time continues to roll. An exciting first half of action, end to end offensive uh, attacks by both squads. Dragons have probably the better quality scoring chances of the two teams. Farmer triggers from the side, gets it in the box, still alive, and cross that end line, goal kick coming. Ocampo is there. Nice crowd on hand. Dragons with that early score really took the, uh, the visitors' uh, cheering section out of this one. J.P. Pichorelli checks in, the freshman, number three for Lake Orion. Lapeer has made a substitution as well. I think it's a, number five is not on my list. Let's see the makeup of both teams. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four seniors on this Lapeer squad. Dragons are loaded with juniors. One freshman on this Lapeer squad, as is one for Lake Orion, and that's Picciarelli who just checked in for Lake Orion. Out of play as time continues to roll here in the first half. Dragons up one, nothing, and the goal by Vargas. Keep it up, White, let's go, White! Dragons nearly had a second goal um, as their shot sailed across the crossbar just inches above the crossbar, and they hit a, a post. So um, chances are there, just need to convert it. It's like Dragons with the throw in here, Farmer with the honors on the far side, there by the near corner, or the far corner there. Long throw in. Hit that one into the parking lot. Another throw in coming for Lake Orion. Head on over to OrionOnTV.org to check out our website. Our vast archive of games on video on demand. We have uh, years and years of games uh, going back on our YouTube channel. So if you want to see some classics, we have them there on our uh, website. Or website link on the video on demand link. Most current games in our lineup can be seen on Comcast Channel 10 and 18T Uber's Channel 99. And Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. You can also watch us on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and Apple TV. Just search for the Orion on TV channel. Load us up and watch all the video on demand and live streaming action you can handle. All in high quality HD. All from Orion Neighborhood Television. 
chip on through that back line of defense, trying to run that one down, and it is cleared out by Lake Orion smartly. It'll be a throw in here for Lake Orion. Who's going to take this one? Looks like they got Farmer doing uh, throw in duties all over the field here. So he's near side now, trying to find inside the box, headed out. Throws it to the white jersey and taken care of easily by that Lapeer defense. Been a while since we've seen Lapeer uh, make that, make an offensive rush that got deep. Deep in the 18, Dragons defense has started to settle in. One-on-one <laughs> -on -one battle over there out of play, throw in for Lapeer. Seems like every, uh, re when Lapeer has the ball, there's always two green jerseys around the ball handler. Matt Tofolo, number 15, tries to clear that one, unable to do so. Throw in coming for Lapeer. Looks like Basie will have the honors. Oh, he ends it off. Can't see the number. Head up by Lake Orion after the throw in. Still alive. And back and forth affair. Dragons have it. They've been attacking that back line defense and trying to move that ball quickly. He's been playing very well today. Four defenders back to two offensive attackers. Nice steal by Lake Orient. Coming near side. Nice job hustle by Luke Wilson, number 21. Trying to get that one down. Still alive out of play. It should be a throw in for Lake Orion. What are they going to say? Nope, oh, repair ball. Come on, White. Go White. Wilson taps it in. Nice turn on that one is number 19. Red Zip. Now Silva go. can't chase that one down and appears on the move. Handball, no call. 18 was there. Looked like it deflected off to Lang's uh, hand. Play continues. Pitcher really, number three, the freshman. Gets his pocket pick, but the ball is still alive. 22 sends it in. That's for Linden. Well, 27, Jazarek trying to do something with it out of play. Throw in coming for Lake Warren. Good energy by the subs off the bench here in the first half. Dragons up 1 0. They got on the board at 28 19. By the goal by number 11, Vargas. Time continues to roll here in the first half. Throw-in coming. Dragons can be dangerous on these throw-ins. Headed out. Should be a goal kick for Lake Orient. Or corner kick, excuse me. First one of the night. This should be interesting. Sometimes the Dragons set up short corners. They don't uh, go for the bomb shot. Or looks like this one's going to be set up to be dropped in the box. See what happens. Nice chip on far post. Nice defense by Lapeer. Cleaned up here by 27. That is Jazarek. Nice tap inside going left foot. Trying to find the open man. Another corner kick coming for Lake Warren. Good heads up play by number 19. Reds it. Another corner kick for Lake Warren. Let's see what they do. Decided to go short, tap it back, and then try to get that defense moving side to side. He chips on far. Across that 18 box, nothing there. Dragons do get it back and try to set it up. Farmer dishes it in. Dragons try to turn, 22 has it. As Verlanden in the box. Reds it. Oh, snatches that one out of the air. Again, just get it on frame, make the goalie make the play, and Compo is there. We'll call that a quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. Dragons kind of... Uh, Dominating uh, time of possession here in this <coughs> second third of this first half. Dragons, excuse me, Lapeer kicked that one out. I think that would be a throw in for Lake Warren. Again, putting pressure on this Lapeer defense. Here comes Farmer again, number four. See 
see what happens here. Dangerous spot for Lapeer to be. A nice throw in into traffic. And Lapeer was there. Ooh, reflection coming near side. Lightning do the wise thing, clear it. Dragons were there. Just get it down range. Number five trying to do something with little Lapeer. I don't have a name on that guy. It's a clear. Clear it out, say it on Lake Warren. Excuse me, off of Lapeer, Lake Warren throw in number 15 to follow with the honors. Paul sends it down. Deflect it back in. Just trying to settle this one down to get the offensive rush going. Dragons trying to spy the green jersey. Can't do so as Farmer's in a battle out there with number 18. That is Delang. Pitcher really nicely done by the freshman number three. Pocket is nearly picked. Lasso, number 20 for Lake Goring, trying to do something with it. Farmer can't play it. Lapeer has it. Slide tackle pushes that one down range. Lapeer has it, tried to turn on it. Kenny with the ball. Feeds it in. Dragons intercept. Dragons moving quickly. Finding room on that up far side. Now Pitcherillo is wide open in the middle of the field. Can't get it to him, and Ocampo scoops that one up. Nice clearing kick by Ocampo. For Linden trying to just get something going, settling that down. Over to Tofolo. And out of play, on forest air. Lapeer with a throw in. Opportunity here as they make some changes. 14, Hibbler checks in. Number 19, that's Bolte. And I think number two is McLaren. They check in for Lapeer. Dragon steal it after the throw in. Nicely done. Lapeer starting to get back on defense. Trying to find that open spot on the right side. We see them attacking that right side. I feel like their wings have some, uh, fo right forwards have some speed or their wings over there. <laughs> have an advantage. We saw the, the main success has been coming from the middle of the field. Um, Pierre is just having a hard time with the fast passing and spacing of Lake Orion, which led to most of the uh, quality scoring chances for the green and white. Linden tries to feed that one in. Sent down range again. Miss it there by Jazarek. Ooh, nice, nice pass. Coming near side, can't split it. You see the Dragons were in the box, they were making the run. Body was there, but the defense was strong for Lapeer. Tofolo dishing it off. One on one battle over there. Number 12 trying to do something with it. Silva. Dragons still have possession of it. A little dance over there. Silva with it. Trying to split the defense. Pulls it back. Looking for support. Finds it. Tofolo with it. Coming near side. Has some room to roam. Pass it in the middle. Give and go. Pitch really. Nice, nice passing by Lake Orion, and that should be across the end line. That'll be a goal kick, I believe, for Lapeer. I like the offensive spacing here, and the idea is they, they're, they're taking what Lapeer is giving to them. Not forcing anything, really. Once it's they, they find an opening, they take those lanes, and the players off the ball are doing a good job of finding the open space and making themselves available. Pierce sends it went down range, trying to find something with it. It's number five. Again, no name on number five. Trying to split that defense. They find the open man. Oh, nice blind pullback. Defense does a nice job pulling that one out. 
Pitcher really, number three, number nine, doing a nice job out there for Lake Orion. Far side centering pass, ooh, dangerous spot, still alive. Pitcher really there, trying to do something with it. Near side, can he get a foot on it? Nope, danger. Low screamer, finds its way all the way through to the netminder, Ocampo, and scooped up. Even though the Dragons don't look like they have a solid offensive chance on it, they're still putting the ball on frame. Making the net minder, the goalkeeper, do his job. Just like that, 346 remains in this first half. On by quickly. Solid action here offensively by Lake Warren. Dragons defense has settled in and really kind of shut down the attack by Lapeer. Next three minutes should be interesting. If the Dragons tack on another goal, that would be a very difficult position for Lapeer to be in. But if they can equalize, that would be a huge boost going into the half. Farmer chases that one down. Dragons on the move. Give and go, nicely done. Coming near side, got it open. Saw that one coming. Really nicely done there, trying to find the open man. 19 again, Redza. Good corner kick earlier by the number 19. Out of play, Lake Orion ball. And it looks like Farmer will trot up to have honors on that one like usual. Danger time for Lapeer. Don't want to give up another goal here late in this first half. Out of play, corner kick coming for Lake Orion. Couldn't have asked for a better opportunity. Dragons love their set pieces. Let's see what they do. They decide to go along. Who is that, 15 to follow? What are they doing? Yes, telling Lapeer to scoot back a little bit to follow. It uh, looks like they're going to do a little... Short corner action, give and go. Coming back to follow, and he's got a good left foot in on the frame. This hit there, still alive. Number three has it. Taps it to the open man, gets it back. Finds the open man on the left side. Nice battling here at 143 left in the half. Linden trying to do something with it. Cleared up by 14, nicely done by Hitler. Dragons have it, 21 trying to turn on it. Who is that? That's Wilson. Oh, he thought about it, 25. Gaten, Farmer has a chip on in the box. Looking for a tap over the net miner. Oh, and out of play across that end line. It'll be a goal kick for Lapeer. Tough angle here from where I'm sitting to see uh, how close that one was to that, that post, but they're putting that pressure on. Nicely done, 60 seconds left in this half. Dragons nicely done in this first half of play. Offensive pressure's been steady since the whistle. Pierce started out nicely in that first third of the first half, but on their offensive side, putting pressure on Lake Orion, but have uh, kind of pushed off any real quality scoring chances here. Nice chance here late. Pushing it far right at 30 seconds left, and that should be a goal kick for Lapeer. Hope you've enjoyed this first half of soccer action here at Dragon Stadium. Dragons up 1-0 if everything holds steady here. Dragons will go in the half with the 1-0 lead on the light. Play, and that should do it. Impressive first half of soccer for Lake Orion. The only thing missing is the goals, but they go in to half. one nothing over the Lightning. Stay tuned for the second half of this short timeout. You're watching ON TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Thank you for tuning in. See you in a bit. Have you ever thought of producing your own podcast? 
ONTV offers the facilities, equipment, and training to help you get your own podcast off the ground. Learn how to record your show and get it out to the world. Cost is $25 per person, which gives you access to ONTV's podcast room and equipment. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org today. Second half action about ready to get underway here at Dragon Stadium. Lake Orion leads Lapeer 1-0. In a back and forth affair, what did we see in the first half? Dragons up 1-0 on the goal by Vargas at 28-19 at of the first. Clean uh, sheet here for Zale for Lake Orion. But the offensive attack by Lapeer was kind of stifled in the last uh, two thirds of that first half. Um, they had some opportunities, uh, but they seemed to be looking for that perfect shot. Dragons, on the other hand, were, hey, man, if we're in point blank range, we're just gonna put it on frame and see what happens. They've had one crossbar, one shot sail over the crossbar, and one hit the uh, right post and one go in. <clears throat> but uh, Ocampo had to, to uh, really play a solid game in that first half to keep this score one nothing. Dragons looking to pick up where they left off. Nice deflection by number 10. Who is that, Mays? Tap in on offense, number 11, trying to do something with it. It's Vargas looking for number two on the night. Looking for that centering pass deflected out. Like Orion throwing. Really liking number nine. Will uh, Jekyll, the junior, his play tonight. He's all over the place. Throwing, nice, high arcer. Still alive, Lapeer trying to juggle it over his head. Farmer has it, keeps possession. Nicely done, tries to right foot it, deflected. Farmer's still there. What do they say? Farmer out there being a pest. Number four. And a pest in every positive uh, sense of the word. Number 11 coming inside. Right foot open. Who's open on that back door? And they're going to say a foul on Lake Orion to end that rush. My word. Up here. Dodged one there. Dragons again on the offensive tech, quickly getting possession of it. Here we go. Jekyll with it, number nine. Tapping it in, number 10. Chip on, far post, no one home. <coughs> Mays doing a nice job out there. Start of the second half, Dragons with a lot of energy and showing some speed. Dragons with it, with room to roam. Look at all that space out there. Still out there out front, trying to find something on that left side. Ball in the box, Dragons still have it. Can't turn on it, number eight's there, Negri. He's got a leg, just send it on, he does, looking for a deflection. Comes back to Negri once again, chops it down. Good, feet, good defense by number 18, that is DeLang. And Lapeer's on the move. Cap stick with it, number four, trying to find an opening. One on one action. Ooh, danger on that deflection. Cap stick trying to do something with it. They got a, uh, ooh, foul on Lake Orion on the collision. I think they're calling that on eight, Negri. So, danger spot here for a free kick for Lake Orion. Lapeer looking to take advantage. 36 50 mark. Very interesting call here. Mij will take the uh, number 10. Looks like he's going to take it. If not, he'll, he might tap it and see what number 18 does. That'd be DeLang. Like Orion Wall's getting set up. Referee's marching off the, I think it's 10 yards, supposedly. <laughs> All right, let's see what they do. Is he gonna go right at it? Can he go around the wall? 
tight wall for Lake Orion. Zales in position on his right post. Looks like it's going to be a single shot here. Let's see. Up and around. And oh, he bends it just far left. We'll, we'll call that a quality scoring chance for sure. Looks like he topped it just a little too much. Too much spin. And the ball uh, cleared the wall, but sailed wide left. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, for Orion Neighborhood Television and Owen TV Sports. Happy to bring you this varsity soccer action here at Dragon Stadium. Head on over to OrionOnTV.org for more information about our video on demand as the Dragons. Geez, quickly get that ball up again. A lot of space to roam. Ooh, rocket shot deflected out. What are they going to say on this one? Looks like a corner kick coming for Lake Orion. They're fourth of the night. But anyway, head on over to OrionOnTV.org for our video on demand, VOD. Uh, archive of games and other programming here on ONTV. You can also access our YouTube channel from our website as the corner kick comes. They're going to do a short corner. Decided not to send it long. Chip on. Oh, just over the crossbar once again. I think that was tipped out by Lapeer. And it looks like another corner coming for Lake Orion, their fifth of the night. Lining up that corner kick. Here they go. Screamer low again out of play. This time off Lake Orion. Whenever you see the one team pointing, it's there. It's our ball. Usually, you know, it's not. Good defensive stand by Lapeer there on the two corner kicks. Lake Orion had opportunities. Didn't cash in. A lot of dancing over in that far corner. Dragons come out with it. Try to do something up that far side. Farm, or who is that? 17? Kapler. Dragons moving quickly here, trying to keep them off guard. And a little too quickly there, Lapeer intercepts the pass. Sun has set here, still comfortable out here at Dragon Stadium. Crowd is for Lapeer is still trying to find something to get into. Been very, very quiet. Like Orion Faithful enjoying this 1-0 lead. On a goal by Bargus at 28-19 uh, of the first half. Trying to figure out what's going here. Ball out on Lake Orion. Throw in coming for Lapeer. Tough to gauge what the off offensive uh, game plan is for Lapeer. They're dishing it to number 10, Mays, or excuse me, number 10, uh, Ege. But uh, Dragons have a clear goal in mind. They're attacking in the middle of that uh, Lapeer defense. Nice deflection out by the uh, Le Dragon defense to stop that one. Corner kick coming for Lapeer, first of the night. And the Lapeer faithful start, uh, got their first uh, group clap going. Important corner kick here for Lapeer. Let's see how they set this one up and execute it. Ready to go. Nicely done. Coming near side, header on frame. Nope, deflected out. Nice delivery by Lapeer. Lobs it in the box. The offensive player for Lapeer falls to the ground, slips on this turf. Dragons chip, or excuse me, Lapeer, that cap stick number four, chipped it back in to keep that offensive rush alive, but the Dragon defense was there. Dragons looking for a streaking player. Trying to go over that back line defense of Lapeer and Unable to do so. I want to thank our interns for uh, running our cameras tonight. Bethany's out there for us, doing a nice job. Oh, nice setup here, coming near side. Just get one off, decides not to shoot it. Chip on again, looking for the back corner. And it, oh, just wide right. 
Drag is looking for a handball call. I think it was deflected up by Lapierre, so corner kick coming. What a scoring chance for Lake Orion there. Just when you think they're, uh, they found the guy near or the far side right, chip on, lots, well still alive, oh, and across that crossbar. Mm. Dragons really leaning on this Lapeer defense here in the second half. Crazy sequence there. Just a slightly off on those shots. This game could easily be blown open to three, nothing. Lapeer needs to find an answer to that dragon attack. Get some shots on goal here or what we see trending could uh, spell disaster for Lapeer's offense. Excuse me, defense. Dragons again working with speed. Battling here. 18 with the throw in, that is DeLang. Unable to gather that one in. Dragons on the move. One thing I like to see is the Dragons are crisp passing, accurate passing, finding those lanes. A lot of open space. Players off the ball, always on the move. Nice, uh, nice leave. Coming that right side. Oh, he was open on the back door. 17's just parked. They're ready to go. It's Kapler ready to just hit it in. Good defense by Lapeer. But he was open. Billy Kapler was open on that back door. Another corner kick coming for Lake Orion. They're coming fast and furious here in the second half. They're working quick. Knuckles it in. Ocampo checks that one out. And deflected that off Lake Orion. Nicely done by the netminder for, for Lapierre to kick that one off of the uh, Dragon player to get that goal kick to stop that offensive rush. Farmer in a battle over there. Arms all over him, no call. Play continues, he'll trigger it in. Sends it down range on that near side. Trying to run that one down. Collision, saw that one coming. Gonna call it on Lake Orion, really? Wow. I don't know about that one. Lapeer uh, player was uh, the head of steam. Took out the Lake Orion offensive player and goes the other way. Again, I'm just a guy with a microphone. Time continues to roll here. If you're just joining us, Lake Orion comes to this match against Lapeer sitting at 7-6 on the season. Lapeer is 6-3 and 4. Uh, the Lake Orion's last three games, they had a 4-3 win over Groves and a tight one. Heartbreaker against the number one team in the state of the Clarkston Wolves, 2-1. They dropped a decision 3-1 to one against Bloomfield Hills, also on the road. Um, their last win was against Avondale back on September 11th. That one was a route 6-1. to one. Dragons looking to get on the winning track once again here against Lapeer. So far, they're up 1-0. Putting that offensive pressure on throughout this entire match. And the good thing I like seeing is all the different uh, contributors to this game. Coach Cortag has been rotating his players in, in and see a lot of new numbers out there in the second half, but still the pressure is on and he shoots that one on and nearly goes in and it deflected in. Oh my word, that was a surprise. Goal for Lake Orion. Let's see the replay, that was Farmer? No, oh, Negri. Kicks it in, deflected, and number nine cleans up. Number nine, that is Jekyll. They're calling him last name Jekyll. I'll say they'll say Jekyll now, 2709. In, uh, unique name by number nine, but he's been everywhere all game. It's good, he's rewarded with a goal. His hustle all night long pays off. Dragons up two to nothing. My word, that was a deflection. I looked like Negri on the assist, number eight. They didn't announce an assist, but that was a deflection again. 
Ocampo did not pick that one up on the deflection. It came right out and it was just a tap in. Crash that net, good things happen. Dragons up 2-0. Corner kick here, second one of the night for Lapeer. Cortex screaming, Dragons must get first touch. That means after this kick, win that ball. Lobbed in, Lapeer gets it, tries to kick it back out. Dragons are there. Scramble for the ball over there. Dragons dump to the turf, they'll get that call. It was at 14, Melina Loza <coughs> dropped to the turf. <laughs> by Mage. Free kick for Lake Orion. I think that's Tofolo. Lobs in, nobody around the Lake Orion offensive player. Lapeer's yeah, defense yeah. seems to be packing in a bit deeper, letting Dragons move out front freely. Lapeer trying to do something on defense. Farmer sends it in that far side, tracked down by 14, Belina Loza. Lapeer has it. Basie trying to do something with it, number seven. Can't turn on it, Dragons with it now. Good awareness of where your teammates are in that exchange there. Nice pass, coming near side, wide open. Chip on lob, and oh, just tapped over the crossbar. Saw that one coming, number 10 couldn't finish. That's Mays, Calvin Mays, the senior was there. He did the right thing, he chipped it high, arced it. And another corner kick for Lake Orion. That's their eighth of the night. Coming near side, tap, still alive in the box, rolls all the way through, my word. You wonder how sometimes that happens. All those feet and legs out there and the ball just rolls clean. I say Lake Orion, th nope, Lapeer throw in. Good. Jax Turner checks in for Lapeer, number and number five checks in. We don't have a name for that fella. But he was uh, doing some good work in the first half, so Lapeer goes to their bench, rotates some, some guys out as number four, Capstick, has the honors with a throw in. 20, approaching 24 minutes left in this second half. Boy, this time has really ticked away. Dragons get on the, uh, extend the lead at 27.09 of the second. By Jekyll. Negri, nicely done. Chip on back to Negri. He's trying to get there. A shoulder to shoulder collision, play continues. Ball's in deep, chip on, far post. Who's home? Someone's home. That ball's high and out of play. <laughs> Goal kick coming here for... Playing for the Dragons, 21, Luke Wilson. 22, Jack Verlinden. Verlinden and Wilson check in. Andrew Heighton in checks in. Number three, J.P. Picciarelli. J.P. Picciarelli checks in also number three. He had some speed in that first half. Picciarelli, number three. Nice job of kicking that one down, dishing it up that far left side. Give and go to number three, right off the bench with fresh legs. Chip on into the box, headed out nicely by the Lapeer defense. Dragons try to close on that. Boy, tough sledding for the Lapeer offense. Anytime they have the ball, the Dragons are really crashing, crashing the ball handler. Nothing easy coming for Lapeer in this second half. Dragon faithful have to be pleased with the way their Dragons are playing tonight. Your side step in, nicely done. Again, spacing. Players off the ball for Lake Orion, finding space, being open. Oh, push down from behind, play. Oh, yes, big call here. Dragons have a chance to really break this one open. 
three goal lead on a could be huge for uh, the green and white. Free kick coming at a dangerous spot on this uh, free kick. Let's see what happens. Who's going to take it? Is that Negri lined up? Number eight, can't tell. Guys are uh, shuffling. Lapeer's wall is set up. Looks like they're for far enough away. Referee telling them, nope, back up a little bit more. I think Negri with the honors here. Can't see the jersey number from here. Let's see what happens. Just get it on frame, get it in the box. Oh, hit the, hit the wall. Lapeer's wall did its job, and that was number 17 on the kick. That's Billy Kapler. Kick on, oh, another opportunity in the box, and still alive. Lapeer was looking for a handball, no call. Play continues, it looked like it hit him in the waist. And cleared out nicely by the Lightning defense. That was a dangerous setup there. Running out of space to put down my quality scoring chances for Lake Orion. We are in double digits. Only four quality scoring chances for Lapeer. Dragons are at 12. And dominating the corner kicks. When you're dominating the corner kicks, that usually means that you're the aggressor out there and really putting pressure on that defense. Dragons still have it. How did they come away with that ball? Going far side, 17's on it. That's Kapler. Love to have that free kick back. He kicked it right into the, right into the Lapeer wall. Chip near side, giving goal. Just wasn't there, hands pushing. No call, play continues. Joey Gayton, number 25 with the ball, goes right side, or excuse me, left side. Pitcher really trying to hunt that one down. No let up for Lake Orion on their side changes, or the personnel changes, excuse me. Pierce satisfied just to clear that one out of the end and reset. Dragon setting up here. Brendan Zale, the Lake Orion uh, goalkeeper. Not much to do in this second half. He did his job in the first half to turn away a couple shots by Lapeer. Nice head on. Still alive, D dumped in the box, no call, play continues. Look like a throw in coming here for Lapeer, 22 with the honors. That'll be Cohen Peril. 18-49 left in the second half. Dragons up 2-0 over Lapeer. First goal came at 28-19 in the first by Bargus. Jekyll hit, uh, Jekyll hit the second one at 27.09 of the second half. Been watching number nine all night long. Right place, right time, but also proper positioning and field awareness of where to be off the ball led to that goal by number nine. Lob in, Dragons trying to just get it out. Here. Hasn't had a solid shot on goal since the first half. Trying to turn on it. Nice defense by Lake Orion. Just putting a hip on him. Just being a... Everything's difficult. Nice effort, though, by Capstick. Number four for Lapeer. Nice header to the open man. The open space. 22 chasing that one down. Verlinden gives it up to the far side. Verlinden gets it back. Tapping it in, trying to find an opening. Pitcherelli coming over to Verlanden. Verlanden, right foot, chip on. Mercedes still alive. Farmer's there. Taps it in across that back line. Dragons try to get a shot on, still alive. Little dance, far pole, still alive. Can't get one on. Farmer left foot, chip on, and oh, tipped across the back of that end line. What a sequence. Hands on hips by Lapeer. You see several players, three of them with their hands on their hips, gassed at that sequence. Another corner coming for Lake Orion. That is nine corner kicks 
for Lake Orion. It's coming from the right side this time. Just inside 17 minutes left in this contest. My word, that sequence was a bit odd. It just, patience. Dragon's offense looks like it has a lot of patience, just waiting and being in the right spot. Here comes the kick. They wind up, sends it far post, header. Not on frame, still in the box, still alive. Farmer trying to do something with it, nothing doing. Dragons tap it out, Pierre is there. Good sequence by Lapeer. Heads up play by the Lightning. Can't remember the last time Lapeer was down in the Dragon. And here we go. First time they have a chance to get deep in the uh, offensive end and tapped in, easily handled by Zale. Lapeer faithful cheering on their players. Got to give them uh, props when they do something well, but that's that offensive rush was the first and only one of this second half. Turning on it, Mays trying to do something with it. Speed and strength rolls it, chips in the middle and has to clear it out. Still alive, my word, how many opportunities are you gonna get? That's at least three. Here's the fourth, and oh, over the crossbar. Dragons, my word. Just over the crossbar again. Silva and Wilson check in, number 21 and number 12, respectively. Lapeer trying to find some offense. Right now, they are, their defense is bending, but not breaking. Dragons, <gasps> top of that crossbar is going to be without paint after this game. Those near misses. Here we go. Drops it back in. And out of play. Gorian can't tell who's going to have the throw in here. Looks like Lake Orion with a throw in. Farmer, high arc, or headed it out. Should be a corner coming for Lake Orion. These corner kicks are adding up. That is the 10th. 10th corner of the night for Lake Orion. They've had some success here. Crossbars, posts. Near misses, let's see what they can do. Lob it in, high chipper, here we go. A little strong, but it was on, on a green jersey. Dragons bring it out, turn it back in. Send in deep, still alive, ooh, dangerous. Caden Ocampo, goalkeeper for Lapeer was there, juggled it with a little bit, but Steady hands, got under that one a little bit. Didn't send that one too far down range. Dragons with it. Again on the attack. 13-20 left in this half out of play. Throw in coming for Lake Warren, who's at 22. 22 is Cohen Peril. Trying to keep that one in for Lapeer, can't do so. Farmer with the high archer down there, miss hit by Lake Orion, can't keep it in. Impressed with this offensive attack by Lake Orion tonight. Lapeer matched uh, Lake Orion's energy level in the first half for a good, good stretch, but here the second, Dragon's pressure is proving to be a bit too much for Lapeer. Looks like they're wearing down a little bit. A lot of hands on hips out there for the uh, white jerseys. Dragons are in the green jerseys, Lapeer in the white. Header, header, chipper, finding the open guy. Dragons give it up the number. Can't tell the number, trying to chase that one down. It's 22 over Linden. Oh, good one-on-one -on -one move, ball still in. And cleared out by Lapeer. Still putting the pressure on. This two-goal lead is feeling like a four-goal lead at this point. Offensive attack for Lapeer has dried up. But 
That's kind of the M.O. for Lake Orin, you know. Good defense. Shut it down. Foot race to the ball. Tap over to the goalkeeper. Zale sends it out to the to Lake Orion. Green jerseys. Passes are finding green jerseys. Butch Cortez has to be pleased with that. Taparoo. Dragons just kind of stepping around the uh, Lapeer defense here. Can't tell if that's Silva. I think that's Silva on the far side. <coughs> Two on one battle. Nearly makes it all the way to the netminder for a shot, but wide open space, long distance shot. Here we go. Tip Don Farmer is there trying to turn. What can he do? Can't turn on it. Good defense. And they're going to say uh, Farmer tugged on the jersey. Okay. Free kick coming here for uh, Lapeer after the foul. Inside 11 minutes here, 11.41 left in this contest. Majority of the action has been in the uh, Lapeer defensive end all second half. Didn't quite get that one out. Dragons have it, an opportunity. 21, Wilson with it, gives it up. Coming near side. Oh, just missed it, 22, he saw it. Verlinden, he was ready. Jack Verlinden, the junior. Number 22 lined that one up. He saw it and just over swung and pulled it wide left. McLaren checks in for Lapeer. Drew Finster, number seven, checks in for Lake Orion. And I missed that last one. Dragons turn that offensive rush away, just like we've seen. Looks like Lapeer's running out a little bit of gas. Looks like the Dragons have been wearing them down steadily, but surely as this game continues to roll on, this next uh, 9-21 will go quickly for Lapeer if they don't get something going quickly. If they're gonna get back in this game, they need this offensive rush to mean something, and it's turned away by uh, Drew Finstrom, nicely done by the senior. Send that one out of play. Appear with it, trying to do something, and then it's tapped away out of out of play. Looks like a corner. Nope, throw in. Zane Zane Sanchez for Lapeer checks in number seventeen. Right now, the clock is Lapeer's enemy. Ooh, nicely done. Can they get a shot off? Two white jerseys in the box. The rest are green. Hard to crash the net when you just have two bodies in there on that corner. Dragons try to run that one down. No can do. Good hustle by Silva. Throw in coming by number four, Capstick. Dragons, Dragons are just content. The miss hit there by number 20. Uh, Joshua Kenny don't want to give up. Not that I'm saying they're giving in and giving up are the Lightning, but some of these uh, clearing attempts or offensive rushes are just, they just look like they're gassed. I'll just say that. And it looks like another corner kick for Lake Orion. We're up to 11 corners. I can't remember the last time we've had this many corner kicks for Lake Orion in a match. It's been a long, long time. Usually they average about four, three. Chip on, nicely done, and punched out. Still alive out front. Left foot, oh! Nice save by Ocampo. Nicely done. Who was that, uh, Wilson? 21 with the opportunity, but a great save by Caden Ocampo for Lapeer to keep this one at 2-0. 15 quality scoring chances for Lake Orion. 
Lapeer at four. Locked on four chances for the longest time. At this point, I think we can stop counting the quality scoring chances. Uh, obviously, it leans heavily in the home, for the home team. Lapeer trying to find something going on the offensive end. Nice defensive play by J.P. Pizzarilli. Dragons with some speed on the far left side. Cutting it inside, still on the move. Good evasion with the ball. Is that number 15? Hesitation to follow out of the end. And what are they going to say? Oh, goal kick. Like already thought it was another corner, but nope. We'll take it. Cl clock continues to run, approaching six minutes left. I'm impressed with this Dragon offense. Equally impressed with their defense. Here looked like they were going to, uh, again, at that bend but don't break defense. Two nothing here in the second half. One goal for Lake Orion in the first and one in the second as Finstrom does a nice job of getting that ball and turning on it. Ooh, tough giveaway. Capstick has it number four. Dragons chase that one down again and get possession back. Near side give to 20, that's Lasso. 21 turns on it again. Wilson having a nice shift out here. 22's on it, that's Verlinden. What can he do with it? Pitts really over in the corner, goes out of play. And what are gonna say, throw in for Lapierre. But again, takes precious time off that clock as we're inside five minutes. Hope you're enjoying this soccer action here on Oregon Neighborhood Television Game of the Week. Watch Game of the Week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. on Comcast Channel 10 and AT&T U-verse Channel 99. As a chip on, nicely done. Good chance for Lapeer. Can they turn on it and get a shot off? Good defense. Oh, looked like it was all ball, but can't argue it. Looks like it was all ball. And Lapeer's going to set this one up. Dragons... Trying to argue it, you never win. <laughs> you never win those arguments. But yes, if you'd like to watch uh, the most current games in our lineup, head on over to Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and Apple TV, and download the ON TV channel, and you can see all the games and vi uh, video on demand uh, in qu high quality HD, including this one, which should should be uh, up on the service in a couple days after. Uh, this game concludes. Wall set up. Lapeer on it. Ooh, a lot of traffic out front. Where's this one going? Still alive out front. Lapeer trying to get a toe on it, trying to do something with it. Can't turn. Dragons turn them away. Nicely done. Good chance for number four, Capstick, to do something. And number 20 for Lapeer, Joshua Kenny. Just could not get a quality shot off, and the Dragons are on the move. They got a lot of room to roam. It's danger, danger zone. Chip on, far post, just miss. Wow, Dragons trying to close this one out and nearly do so at three minutes left. Mm. Wide open as they caught the uh, Lapeer offense down one, at one end of the field and they just flipped the field quickly on offense to the Dragons and just could not find the back of the net. My word. Matt Tofolo with the trigger from the side, number 15, nice throw in. Sent down by Verlanden and out of play by Lapeer trying to set this one up again. Number 19, Reds up for the orange shoes. Over to Pitcherilli. He's had a nice game, number three. Dishing it off, still alive out front. That's Silva. Trying to find the higher quality shot. Headed out by Lapeer. Another screamer in the near side post and save by Ocampo. Dragon still applying pressure to Lapeer, not letting up at all this entire second half. Upcoming games for Lake Orion. 
Oxford on the docket on the 27th. Always a good one. Looks like Romeo, Farmington, and Rochester are the next three on the <laughs> schedule for Lake Orion. Ooh, miss hit by Lapeer to clear it out. Dragons trying to do something with it. They get organized and send it long range. And Ocampo is there. As we approach 90 seconds left in this game. Wild action here. Camera trying to keep up with it. Doing a nice job. Pitch really over to 13. Heighten in. Goes far post. Ball is still alive. Trickling out front. Wide open lane. You saw it coming. That's 22. Verlinden. You saw that lane right on camera. You see the open lane, and Ocampo had no chance at that one. Jack Verlanden with the score to close out this game and seal this win for Lake Warren. That is at 108 of the third, or 108 of the second for the third goal of the night. That seals this W for Lake Warren. Nice calm play, play, find the space in the open area, play off the ball. Nicely done by Lake Orion, and they're still on the attack even under a minute left. And Ocampo grabs the ball, try to send this one down range. Nice quality home win here for Lake Orion against a quality opponent in the Lapeer Lightning. But it looks like the Dragons are going to get out of here with a W here. 36 seconds to go. Can they get on the board? Nice offensive rush here for Lapeer. Cleared out by Lake Orion. All right, let's go. Still have a chance. Lapeer faithful still cheering on their, uh, their Lightning, trying to get something going here. 19 seconds, 18 seconds. Nice chip on far post. Cleared out by Lake Orion. This should do it. Dragons take a win here. Eight, Nicely seven, done by Lake Orion. Dragon Faith will have to be four, pleased. Three, Dragons two, move to one, eight and six on this season. Next up, like we said, they'll have Oxford, Romeo, Farmington, and Rochester with the Holmes tilt against Warland de La Salle Collegiate on October 9th. So those are the upcoming games. Dragons take it, the big win, three here at home. Three nothing win at home. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Thanks for tuning into this telecast and game of the week. Head over to Orion.tv.org for more information about games in our lineup. Good night, everybody.